Hi, thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to discuss the issue of Edward Cornwallis and his controversial title as the founder of Halifax. So who exactly was Edward Cornwallis? Well, born in London, England in 1713, as the youngest of six, this nobleman began his career in the military. After many years and many victories for the British crown, Cornwallis ascended the ranks of the military, eventually becoming a colonel. After that, he moved on to become a governor of a colony in the New World, which is now known as Halifax. Upon his arrival in Halifax, Cornwallis violated many of the peace and friendship treaties set out between the Mi'kmaq and the British, which in turn provoked attack. Because of these attacks, a proclamation was soon instituted by Cornwallis, which placed a bounty on the scalps of the Mi'kmaq people. So what exactly is the issue? Well, since Cornwallis developed Halifax into the great city that it is, he was given the title of the founder of Halifax. Now, that history is being looked upon with more scrutiny, and because of this, many people have realized that Cornwallis does not, in fact, deserve that title. The violation of the statue of Cornwallis and the changing of the name Cornwallis Junior High School have been certain things that happened in the Halifax community in order to bring awareness to this situation. So what is a possible solution? A possible solution is to raise awareness to the seriousness of the offenses that Cornwallis committed and strip him of his title to not only show respect to the Mi'kmaq people who graciously allowed us to settle on their land, but to also show that all over Canada, small things such as this is what brings the difference and is able to get the issue of Aboriginal rights to the forefront of Canadian minds.